Yo, what is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be reacting to episode 101 of Black Clover. Last episode, my God, leaked was just throwing hands, man. And I was not expecting him to be that strong, but the guy is fucking OP. To be fair though, Asta and Yuno were also, you know, they were going all out, dude. Like these kids were literally standing their ground, you know, trying not to die. And, and if you think about it, like Leek barely woke up. He's not even like fully 100% there. Apparently he's also missing some of his swords. So he's, he still has a lot more in him to see him kind of like trash Asta and Yuno like that in that state that he's in shows that we still have yet to see more of him, which is kind of scary, but also very exciting. We ended up seeing that Asta passed out, I think uh, like in like some river and you know, uh, they didn't show you know, so we don't know exactly what happened to him, but they're probably both somewhere, you know, knocked out. This should be a good one. So sit back, relax. Now let's get started on the video. You know, it's so crazy, dude. He is so strong at just, you know, at what he does and he's still a rookie and he's able to pretty much do all of this against Leaked himself. Like, come on, bro. This guy, when he grows up, if he grows up, is going to be a fucking menace. The way he says this is sick. And like we saw like nothing was phasing him. And then an Asta popped off like this, dude. <laughs> that part, no. I, I love seeing when it goes from like color to pretty much manga style panel, you know. Dude. And he just unleashed it. Now, like I said, at the end, we saw Asta ended up falling, kind of like knocking himself out, or he, he was knocked out unconscious, and we didn't get to see him. <laughs> Yo, this guy is sick, bro. As a villain, I can respect him. He's gonna be a great villain. Did y'all see how majestically he just flew down there? I'm telling you, he's still not there. Ooh. So it's officially Asta's now. Or he just doesn't care about it. We have a fucking menace in our hands. We are gonna see some more fighting in the future, and I am so excited to see that man. Oh, Mimosa. Okay, at least they got both of them out. And you are still standing up like nothing, man. That that guy is crazy. Stupid powerful for a rookie. You got Zoro protecting Cisleon. Oh, okay. No Zells over there. I wonder what's taking him so long to wake up though. You know, like, is there like a prerequisite for him to, to wake up? Like certain things he has to do or, or his people have to do for him for, for him to wake up? Yeah, you're just gonna do a fucking wheel? Let me find out. Was that is that is that like a ship this whole time? I don't know why. That just reminded me of that part from SpongeBob when he starts driving the rock. What a battle. And they don't have the people to go after them. At least I wouldn't go after them right now. Yeah, hopefully she's okay too. Damn. Yeah, it's, it's better if we just let her sleep. You don't want to wake up that lady. <laughs> this guy probably has like a ruptured lung or some bullshit. Yeah, 
Yes, put some respect on his name, dude. Come on. Even that's pretty impressive. For somebody that doesn't even have magic. Oh, that looks like he's probably healing them. Mm. You lot can use them. Mm. That's actually sick. <coughs> Simp! <coughs> oh, fuck. Allergy season's crazy. Man, everybody got their asses rocked. It's a, it was a tough battle though. I guess you could say that um, it gives us like a, a little insight of what we can expect later on for like a round two against all of these people. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe those are the people that stayed back in the Black Clover Kingdom? Ooh, maybe this is when Finneral comes into play and helps everybody come back? Maybe? Oh, now that I think about it, he's, he's also gonna see Fuego Leon. His all-time rival has finally woken up and he doesn't even know about that yet. That could have probably been luck purposely, like luck himself purposely avoiding that. You, let's be honest, Chris, you, you deserve it sometimes. Yeah, maybe Asa can just talk to him, dude. The way he did with you, know, maybe that'll work. I don't know. <laughs> maybe their relationship is gonna get a little better. It's leaked in the gang. Dude, they're literally gonna terrorize the village and there's nobody that can protect them because everybody's gone. They're either in the Clover Kingdom or out battling where all the elves were. Oh, maybe, oh, maybe they're not attacking Hage Village. Friends. Oh, dude. Just to stop. Everybody's with the smoke, dude. Okay, now we need somebody to, to stop them. Maybe Yami and Finro? Because he got these muscles, baby! If you got the muscles, why not show them off? How sick would it be if Asta and maybe even Yuno are the ones that end up like stopping that 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 uh that elf like right then and there and and you know starts helping them battle. That would be sick. No, baby. It looks like it might be them then. They're gonna stop for a detour, or they're gonna let them, both of them, go there, and then the rest of them are just gonna leave. He's like, fuck yeah. But we gotta save Sister Lady, dude. Ooh. I feel like he's starting to have some self uh some respect for Noel. I sense some good relationship growth coming on. You know, he's not that bad of a person. Sometimes just his words doesn't come out the way that they should. 
And law, oh, dude, she's blushing. Now, now I, I can see this happening. Asta and Yuna are gonna be the ones that are gonna interfere and save them, and then everybody's gonna see them, and then they're gonna be like, "Yo, this, these are the kids that left the village, uh, like you know, that a long time ago." And look at them now; they're like royal knights. Well, from the royal knight squad, not royal knights because they're not royalty, but you guys know what I mean. Ah, yes, Asta's favorite magic trick. Everybody hurting too, look at that. Knocked out. Rough times. Especially that village. And you know, that just goes to show you that everybody always, you know, has their own battles. So always appreciate what you have, even if you're just eating fucking potatoes and water all the time. That's why Asa appreciates all of that. And he still even wants to eat them, even though he's made it out of there. Asa, the promise he made Asa. And this is why this guy motivates me so much to do whatever I want in life. Because this guy has been in the bottom of everything since the very beginning and he's still over here making shit happen. You know what I mean? Like that's motivational as hell, dude. Which, which he did. And oh, dude, just imagine the excitement he's gonna see when he Asa pops up at the end. God, dude. Everybody needs an Asa in their life. Somebody that can motivate them to do better. Come on, just pop up already, dude. I just want to see this. Oh! He's going in. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> The Hage Kings, man. Yes, look at them. <laughs> Why is it so amazing? Oh my god, dude. Well, it looks like Link and his gang are heading towards the royal capital, and that's where Nozel and pretty much everybody that's left from the Royal Knight squad is also going to go there to protect the village, or should I say, the capital. There is an elf still in Hage Village, and he's pretty much about to kill everybody. It was at that point where I'm like, dude, what if, what if Asa and Yuno are the ones that end up protecting the village at that point in time? And that's exactly what happened. That shit was fucking sick. And the, the point that is like super dope to think about, like the point that I'm trying to get at is that the fact that Asta made a promise to Nash to pretty much never give up on you know believing in his dreams even though supposedly those people are not supposed to have any dreams Nash told Asta that if he became a knight that you know maybe maybe then he would end up trying to believe in himself believe in his dreams and he did it <coughs> Fuck. And now I think Nash being able to see Asta and Yuno right then and there protecting him. That's, that's just sick, dude. And then Sister Lady, like I said, they haven't seen these kids since they left the village at all. So I think, or maybe they came back one time to visit and then that was it. But other than that, like it's it's been a while. So I feel like they're gonna be able to see how much growth they've been, uh, they've, been they've had since the time they've left. They're two completely different people from the time that they, they knew him back in the day. So I just think that's just cool, you know, to see uh, people that, you know, you saw grow up and then they kind of ventured off into their own and now they're their own people making stuff happen for themselves. I think that is sick and I think everybody should take that into consideration for whatever, you know, whatever they want to do with their life. Make shit happen. Don't, you know, don't let nobody tell you you can't do anything, not even yourself. But we're going to go ahead and leave this episode here for tonight, guys. I'm going to leave all my socials down below. You guys know what to do and I'll see you guys in for the next reaction video.